In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to animate charts in Figma. Let's begin. All right, I already designed three different types of charts. We have a bar chart, we have an area chart, and a donut chart. You can open up this project using the link down in the description. And once you open it up, you can just select this frame, copy it, and paste it in a new design file so you could edit it as well. All right, let's see how we can animate these charts. We are gonna start with the bar chart here. Here is what we are gonna do. We are gonna select this bars group here, as you can see, that includes all these bars and we are just going to decrease its height just like this to shrink them to something like this okay now we can move on to the area chart as for the area chart what we are going to do is select this chart here we are going to select this layer and this line chart layer and we are just going to move them down and move them outside this card. To do that, you can just hold down the shift and the space bar on your keyboard. And also you need to make sure that when you select your card, this clip content checkbox is checked. If it's unchecked, this chart won't be masked. So make sure that this checkbox is checked, just like this. Now I'm gonna select this circle and this vertical line, both of them, and move them out. Again, hold down the shift and space bar on your keyboard. But what about this donut chart? This one is a little bit tricky. What we are gonna do is mask these segments first so we could reveal them later. How can we mask them? It's so easy. I'm gonna select this first segment here. I'm gonna duplicate it, hit Control D or Command D. And now we are gonna select these two layers, the duplicated one and the initial one, and just hit this mask icon, just like this. We create a mask and now we can select this ellipse layer inside this mask group, hold down the shift key and just rotate it just like that. And as you can see, it's masked now. What about this one? For the second one, we are going to do the same. I'm going to select this one, duplicate it, again select them both, hit mask and I'm going to select this ellipse layer here inside this mask group, hold down the shift key and rotate it just like this until it's completely masked and let's repeat the same thing for the last segment as well i'm going to duplicate it select them both mask them and i'm going to select this one and just rotate it just like this okay so here is our initial state now we need to select this frame one duplicate it, hit Ctrl D or Command D. And now we need to reveal our bars and also our line chart and our donut chart. So here for the bar chart, I'm gonna select this bars group and I'm just gonna increase its height, just like this. What about here? This one is also easy. We just need to select these two layers, the area chart, hold down the shift key and move it up, just like this. And we should also select these two layers that are placed outside and move them to the right just like this. And finally, for the donut chart, we should select each segment and just rotate it to reveal it. I'm gonna select the second one, which is this one, rotate it like that. And finally, the last one, let's rotate it. All right, now it's time to head over to the prototype tab and connect these two frames together. So I'm gonna select this frame one, head over to prototype, connect these two and here you can set the trigger to anything you want you can set it to after delay but i'm going to keep it as on click and also we need to set the animation to smart animate and just change the duration i'm going to set it to 1000 milliseconds or one second here we can change the easing method as well i'm going to set it to easing and out like that to make it a little bit more realistic and now it's time to check it out and see whether it works or not i'm going to hit play Let's click somewhere. There it is, here is our animated chart. You can also animate them using interactive components if you wanna reuse these charts, but I just wanted to show you how you can animate charts in Figma easily and quickly. If you wanna learn more about prototyping in Figma, make sure to check out this video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Figma tutorials. Have a great day and see you soon.